Hello everybody, welcome to Season 46, Round of 64 match between Daedalquist? Nope, Valley Hoppier and his Nurgle and Daedalquist and his Wood Elves. <laughs> um, yes, interesting match. In the booth we have Fimey and Squirrel Dude. Hello! Hello! How are you doing? And here we are, another round of 64 game, Nargel versus uh, the Woodies. Woody's with also a wizard. Yep. Uh, Woody's doing the DACA. Doing the DACA, oh my god, yes. Yes, I love it. I love it doing the DACA. Top marks top marks for uh for for Daedal here, going for the DACA. However, it has been said that it's simply not possible to succeed a DACA versus a good opponent. As we all know, Velahopia has won CCL twice with uh, Norse and humans so maybe he will struggle with a good team for once <laughs> but um, yeah this is this clearly has a zero percent chance of working because daka could never work against a good opponent there you go if you're the nurgle team i see why they packed them all together to make it harder for the wood elves to get the um blocks but maybe it would have made sense to try and uh, spread out the uh, tentacles a bit more so that it would be harder for the wood elves to dodge away from the ols so I don't really see how they were generating blocks against them anyway. Yeah. But maybe that's a bit of just post understanding that the Woodles are just going to run away and do a DACA. So. <laughs> it did get him a removal, though. He got the Wood Elf stuck on the other West Tentacles and he got a Claw Palma. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the one left behind pay the price. <laughs> yep. <laughs> are these Woodies as good as the amazing Wood Elf team that didn't qualify? No, they're all right, though, aren't they? They've got a couple of move ups. Three move-ups, in fact, and a guard. Um, but yeah, this team would be a lot better with two edge, edge five dancers and a uh, move ten edge five catcher. But it's not that good. But you know, he actually got a good record with it and qualified. So yes, very, very good. <laughs> it's not a stat freak Woodall team. It's just a very, it's just a solid high team by a Woodall team, which means it's pretty overpowered. Yeah, so yeah. it's got a shout in any game. Yeah. Um, it's it was my team, so I I got an amazing team with a shit record and a completely ab abject failure. <laughs> it's just it's just laughing at Jim. It's it just was, laughing it was an at absolute, Jim. Absolute tragedy. It was like uh, reading Archipelago Gulag or something like that. <laughs> so. But you know, like yeah, like it's good, isn't it? He's got, he's got, he's got some wrestle. He's got some dodge. He's got some skills on the dancers. Like it's, it's still, it's still very winnable games. Only yeah. eleven players and a wizard. So like it's, it's tenuous. He's gonna have to get a bit lucky. A oh, Brett Babe and a Babe and a Wiz. So yeah, he's, he's got to get pretty decently lucky to win this. The uh, lack of the line also kind of underdeveloped a little bit, and you'd like them to have. For a team at this, you maybe like to have some Blodge or Raj, and only being an eleven in particular. So the team's kind of then it does have those stars though. Yeah, yeah cut the tree, and Raj. Yeah, I, I like cutting the tree. Um, well, I, I just don't like the tree in general because it, it prohibits you it prohibits the Dacker, which <laughs> the Dacker is the best thing about Woody's. <laughs> so when my when my tree got killed, I just didn't replace him. Um, Tree's pretty horrible in this matchup anyway. It's so easy for the Nurgle to just to claw it and cut it down, and then you're just down 150 yeah, the... team value instantly. Yeah, it's like good against basically. orcs. It's like good against yeah. orcs, and like that's it. And everything else either runs away from it. Orcs and dwarves, kind of, and, yeah. that's, and maybe sometimes chores they don't have a claw palm, or you can control the claw palm idea, and that's about it. Yeah, yeah. So like the elves run away, and then the bash bash it out. So it's it's very limited, very limited effectiveness. The tree. It's good against the teams that play fair. So yeah, exactly. Which, you, which you're elves, so you beat them anyway, really. But like, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded another turn of staying back, but this is okay. Yeah. It, the tentacles does make it a bit hard to find an easy way through because you can't. It's going to be hard just to knock one guy down and then make a bunch of dodges in certain cases so yes. i don't know why the beast of nurgle is so far to a, a side to That's hold to, yeah to hold to hold with the tentacles right but um oh it's to hold with sand firm that's why it's over there yeah stand okay. firm and tentacles 
But yeah, he's he's put the st this stun film on the side, hasn't he? And then I I understood why I, was there a blitz there to get to force that um or a way to get that wrestler forced onto the sideline. I feel like there might have been rather than I mean keeping him in front of you is okay too. But hmm. I don't know. I don't know where he was. <laughs> Probably not. Veli's pretty good. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna criticize Veli unless he he has a brain fart. Probably. <laughs> like it's funny, isn't it? Like I, I, you know, Dio always tries to tries to find what somebody was thinking rather than just laughing at them. Whereas some people just try to laugh at people when they see something they don't understand. But uh, I do try to uh, see what people are thinking. But sometimes it's it's difficult, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, that's how you that's how you do something good there. Just get a random removal. Can't apple it. Weakness of the regen team there coming through. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wrestle doesn't do the job there at all. Actually, no. Gets it down, but does not get you through. Well, this is uh, this is tricky. This is uh, looking complicated for the Alps here. Mm. Nice block for that tentacle's got to get on everyone now. Yep. And if he powered, it would have freed the. Uh... Curl palm. Yeah. I think the curl palm is going to try and free himself. Yes. But it would yeah. be better if he didn't have to, wouldn't it? <laughs> mm. Just turn seven, you'd probably pile on anyway if you could. Pile on. This is a little bit tricky, isn't it? A little bit tricky. Like, Nurgle are so slow, and now yeah, the beast isn't a... holding the flank with Sanfer. There is a good chance. Okay, getting the warrior free is pretty... Oh, dang. Ooh. I would have... think I would have liked that block with the rotter so that the warrior could get free and get over here and help next turn. Yeah, but even then it can't get further... It can't get far enough over. Well, he can kind of get behind the... Um, he can keep... Make the beast not be stupid, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, but you're not you're not activating the beast, are you? But yeah, you no. you'd like to be behind the beast. You'd like you'd like somebody directly behind, mm -hmm. and then maybe this guy even further over. Downside of the greed rule, maybe is maybe you can be a bit more bold. My goodness, <laughs> maybe nine's bad. It's a problem. I like that. I like that. Going straight for him. There you go, glorious, glorious blitz, glorious removal, terrible frenzy, obviously. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It turns out it's pretty good. Rolling good dice is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Breaking armor every block, you know, uh, helps a lot. Yeah, there is two D on the ball here. Oof. Well. Look a dog. <laughs> Look a dog gets away from the last tentacles. Yeah, Tom Shin is get, getting lucky is a good idea. Of course you can't you automatically get lucky if you don't daka, that's why doing the daka is bad. <laughs> Feel like the wills kind of condensed themselves for I get why they did. They are up players, which is a sentence that you wouldn't expect to hear in this game, but they've kind of let the tentacles get just all over them now. Yeah. Just across like their entire line with strength and guard to protect them. But now Veli's oh. just like just pretty much the foul. almost given up here with that blitz and that foul, I think. There is no stand firm, and there is a gaping hole. 
Yep, that was that was uh, not what he not what he wanted. It's good on Dado to find the one D though, and not be afraid to take it in that situation. So you can be tempted to just look for two Ds, but just good to just take that one D. No stand firm, just take the push and win yep, the drive. So it, was, it was two plus to clear it, wasn't it? it was mm -hmm. Too easy. Well, I guess there's two plus of having a foul appearance as well. Turtle might not want to score with these KOs. <laughs> oh man, imagine. Imagine if there's no score on turn 8. That would be incredible. I think his KOs matter more than the uh, Nurkul, especially the two turns anyway. Yes, but it would be funny. It, <laughs> it would be. be funny if it's the Turtle trademark. <laughs> Yeah, I I, I kind of hated that blitz. That blitz and that foul just gave up the defense, I thought, from Bowie. Oh, nice chain here to free the the warrior. Yep, had to re-roll to get it. Can get all the way up there? He can get all the way up to that carrier. Yeah. You can touch no. him. Yeah. But now hey, strength. Strength 5 on strength 2. Yeah, but now he's got to just move the tackle here instead of the tackle being here already. So, it's pretty bad. It's an easy 1D, isn't it, again? 2D, if he wants. So it probably does. Because <laughs> you might have to re-roll the foul appearance, so I think you definitely make it 2D. I think I would have blitzed with a wrestle. He's got wrestle on the warhand, sir. Oh, the wrestle's on the warhand, sir. That would be even better then. Glorious wrestle. This does mean the, the, the dancer gets fouled. But yeah, the dancer would have had move afterwards. I still think it was better to... Uh, I think it was better to, uh, to blitz with a line on. I guess it doesn't matter. Because then you've got like the double base first, right? Because the, the, the dancer can base without rolling dice. And then, mm -hmm. you, and then you do the dodge and the hit with the same guy. You're saying you foul the uh, wrestle dancer here? Yeah. I think you, I think you with that power, I think you foul uh, the man. Instead. Never mind. No need, maybe there no. is no need to... No, you don't foul that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, you, it's a free foul, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You don't know that you're mm -hmm. going to knock anybody over. Classic game for all bash teams where you can look at the stats and see they got all these removals. Uh, they all <laughs> came way too late. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't. I didn't comment on it because it was obvious power apple, but yes. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's our dancer. You have to uh, apple him. Yes, there's no point. There's no point not appoing him and then <laughs> saving, you know, saving it, saving a player to play an open ladder. Is there? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you got it. You got to apple him. You can't really play what else if you're not willing to, to do a power apple. You just can't win. There are too many games you lose by not having your players in the game. Yeah, and yeah, that's true. That's true, Sol. But like, that, and that that makes the like commentary a bit. I think that's why people think you know. Obviously, people like Artemis, uh, he gets a lot of stick for being too negative. But in general, people tend to give blood ball casters that aren't rebel <laughs> casters stick for being too negative um, but the thing is like if you're watching a chalice game you expect somebody to power up or their best player <laughs> in an in a unfavorable matchup don't you <laughs> do you know what I mean like yeah you're probably going to need your best player to win this match different if it was against Augers then okay let him let him go off because you're probably going to win anyway but like so, so like you kind of so, so your default thing is you're expecting them both to make all of the best players every turn, aren't you? And then it's only if they they come up with a good player that you hadn't thought of, or if, if they come up with a bad player, or a player that you don't understand, and then so you snap call it shit and out of ignorance. <laughs> I, I do think there is a degree to which the standards have shifted over time. Cause I know when I was first getting into Blood Bowl, like, at least within the people who are playing Blood Bowl Chaos Edition, and to a degree early Blood Bowl 2, the logic that was espoused was if it's a badly hurt, you just you don't use your apo because apos were 
to save players and not apos are a way for you to win the game they're mm -hmm. not for protecting your team team value is there so you can win a game yeah. i mean trying to be fair, do that blood bowl one was terrible a terrible standard of play <laughs> yeah yes i do think overall the standard has slightly improved and that's part of it it's just the acceptance that we're trying to win the game not build a team yeah. which is hard sometimes yep. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing, Chunter. Um, <laughs> like, that's the thing, right? You never, you never really know if, like, whenever I'm not winning, <laughs> I always think, am I playing bad or are they playing good? And it's not, it's not easy to tell sometimes, is it? <laughs> it can be very hard. It can be hard also if you're winning. You're like, am I playing well or are they just? Not doing anything and getting bad dice. It's not. Yeah. It can be a hard wow. game to tell sometimes. Three out of four KO rolls there. Huge, huge KO rolls. Mm -hmm. So nine players is just about enough. Still needs to. Still needs to not get removed. He still has a wizard also, so he can. He could try and just sprint. Try and win this in regular time, throw his resources away, but that's always hard. But I'm a big believer that more people should probably put, try play to win regular time when they have an advantage, but it's really hard. It's really, really hard to. It, it's really hard with Nurgle, right? Well, it's really hard with Nurgle, yeah. that's the thing. Like, yeah. Nurgle is just. He's just. Yeah. Like, Nurgle Yeah, is the just Nurgle just have to play for. Nurgle will have to play for OT, but the elves. The elves want to play for a regular time result, obviously, which is partly what makes this matchup so interesting, always. Mm. Oh wow, the defensive Dakar as well. The double Dakar. Oh my god, double Dakar is, is a team name that I've now reserved. Nobody make that or I will be, be Jim sad. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Yeah, the chain to open up the cage for the... Ra oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Wow. That's it, the Jimmy, you can you Jimmy, you can sell anything with the community. They will take everything from you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Luckily we we can just put like five spaces in front of a name <laughs> or behind a name and it's fine, isn't it? So... What a what a good name production system Cyanide has. And it yeah. like spaces in front of the after ascent says. It definitely makes sure to not have cyanide or arsenic in a player's name, though. It's very good at making sure that's not in there. Yep. Okay, I don't get the, I get, I don't get the reasoning not to make that 3D. Yeah, 3D, that guy. Sure. I get, it's really deep, I guess. It's, it's super deep. Maybe you don't even blitz at all. There's an argument for not blitzing at all there, I think. Look how deep the kick is. Yeah, I think I think he shouldn't have blitzed at all, in fact. Just run him back. Or maybe at least not blitz with that guy. Keep your tackle back. I'd blitz with the, probably the tentacles and run him back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like genuinely, because the, this is... Oh yeah, no yeah, bl blitz with a claw mighty and run him back, something like that, because... Yeah, going forward here, oh this is terrible. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. He can kind of screen this off. No. But Leap exists. Ooh, I would like this a lot more if the rudder went behind right behind where that warrior was to make it so that like just blocking your way through wasn't possible on the left side at least yeah. but like, a 1d now a gets him through tentacles, but like you've got a like he's giving the team split too easy yeah and there's a wizard so it's, it's uh... yeah Elf running a forward is right see you salt yeah so uh, well, it's already turn nine. Is it looking very bad for the Nurgle? Yep. Yeah, he's got so far to go. Like that's the thing, right? He's he's got to bring all of these guys back <laughs> now this turn, right? And then he's got to move forward max as well, and he still doesn't yep. really get there. Like 
if he'd brought everyone back last turn, he would have a safe space to go to. And the wizard's in play too. Yes. At least, wizard's really in play next turn. Yes. At least one of the tentacles will be back or doing something. Both of them there are not very useful. Yeah. He can form a loose cage, um, and he can get the tentacles back, but the tentacles are a little tied up. The beast needs to get back and like grab this catcher. Try and grab these catchers for sure. Yeah, so we... Oh my god, he's got to reroll. Yeah. I like sidestepping to here to stop the beast getting these two. Yeah, if you sized up to there, then it's 3 4, isn't it? Or it's 1 2 3. So I think sized up to there was better. I mean, obviously, well, it's this, near the ball. Yeah, here. sized up to there, I guess, once you get the POW, means that now the beast gets to be on two strength, two guys, so that's also not ideal. I would be but, okay with that because then the dance is free. Uh, I feel like I see a blitz on the ball, Jim. Yeah, I see a fireball I... or a bolt, one of the two. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe there's a chance of hitting the ball here. That ball seems a little bit open. Mm. Just gonna throw that out there. I don't Just know if you need to do a GFI first action there, but... No, I'd much rather try to get these two off tentacles first. I don't know why that's a 1 dB. Uh, no. Oh, okay. No, We're not the, the push, push. yeah. Mm, what is her recovery now, then? This catcher. Nope, the dancer. I kind of would have. This is kind of why I might have liked the fireball over the. Um, over the lightning bolt there. A bit riskier, but you have. He yeah. could have bolted the. He uh, could have bolted the beast, right? Beast. To get these two. Yeah. He could have bought the beast, or he could have fireballed that, or he could have bought the, there lots of options. But like, he had yeah. to go for the had to go for the ball. Yeah, obviously. yeah, yeah. Getting the balls. Have to, you have to go for the ball that turn, and you have to use your wizard. I, th I think you have to use your wizard. Yeah. Maybe you don't have to use your wizard, but I think you probably have to go for the ball, and you have to use your wizard because you've got to roll the dice this turn to to go two yeah. more and, and, win. and get yourself in a position where you can just play a normal defense, and or just play a. Play an actual deck of defense where you're just like letting the Nurgle do what they want, and then you can just play a deck on offense. Yeah. If nothing else, you've forced out a reroll now. So maybe you've got your player done. Oh, he's dead! Oh. Oh. Oof. Shouldn't have power up oh. earlier. What an idiotic decision. <laughs> what an idiot. He's like forced the Nurgle to blitz him and kill him again. He should have just let him die before. <laughs> what a silly thing. <laughs> yes, and what's, what's Chanter saying that uh, veterans and new blood, both coaches are 29 years old. They are the same age. They've been playing the game for the same, same, same amount of time. <laughs> That's true. Well, off is just better. <laughs> As we. <laughs> or at least it's had better results than Chalice. Everybody's 29. More. Oh. Tentacles doing an absolute great job there. It's been really good this game. It's really actually has tied up a lot of. Oh my god, so the rookie! The rookie Lino! The oh rookie my Lino god, the rookie Lino has just done it guy. himself! <laughs> the sacrifice of the. The sacrifice wasn't in vain! Fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. elves. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Well, there you go. Elf, Wood Elf Lineman, pretty good. Who knew? Who knew Mood 7 was good? No skating coaches ever told thought that their linemen are kind of undercosted for how good they are. It's never happened before. <laughs> wow. Now seven men left. I mean, there's still a chance for Valley, right? He can still bang this in in two. And he then... needs a short kick. He absolutely has to have a short kick and a quick drive. And a two to three turn score. And ideally, honestly, he would probably like to have a riot to extend the game a turn. Yes. Yeah. But he's got a chance. Because two. Yeah. Should probably even go for a two turn as Nurgle to give himself three turns because it's going to be much easier to score with three turns on defense. But you've, much you've, much easier. You've got to say that that was a that was a mistake, right? From very like he he should have like he after getting the kill he should have protected the ball better than that. Like and I know I know obviously it was lucky Daedal getting the dodge and the power and the pickup and everything and the scatter, but like there's there's obviously got to be an element of of very should have protected it better. Yeah. Somehow. 
Yeah. The only thing I don't like from the that they play to get the ball is they doing the pick up with the uh, dancer. Because there was I think there was a catcher lying on the floor next to the ball too. So that was a three plus uh, three plus to catch the ball. Yeah, yeah, I think and I you don't risk it. Yeah. And you don't risk the war dancer. He's been playing a little bit like his carrier is bludge when it only has block. Yeah. If that makes sense. And it's just the turn where he gave the wizard also, where he basically said, "All right, you have to use your wizard now." It was a bit ropey. Yeah. Yes, but, I mean... but it's, it's having blotch versus, you know, a uh, blitz coming with six dice with tackle better than just uh, getting the ball away from there, just doing that. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because Billy Hopea was going to go all 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 in in the, the play, tackle six dice. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Wow, there's, he's getting the removals now. Classic. It's getting interesting, guys. Hello, Skurl. <laughs> Skurl Game Mitchell. possibly over. Get the removals. I mean, that was a hell of an OS. Maybe a little late, but yes. Yeah. I do think it's good that he's going for the two turn right now as opposed to waiting. Oh, yeah, he he's got to. Like, he has to. Yeah. Yeah. What 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 other what other option he has? Stand play towards. for three, play for three. Which I think you will see coaches go, try and just go for three here. But I think I mean like he has to just go all in on the two turn and like even burn the reroll to give himself a chance. It's just too hard to score to get the ball against two turns against what else. Yeah, hard. but if you go for three, then when the elves uh, yeah. get the ball, they have enough time to duck to the back. Yeah, and throw the ball to the other side of the pitch randomly at some point, and that's it. You don't can't score. The downside is that this happens. Yes. Well, it'll just come right through. Yes. That's that's why you might go for three, because it means you don't have this happening. Yes, that's the thing, isn't it? Uh, penetration ah, okay. it's only, versus... It's only one elf. It's only one elf. What's the wrong thing that could happen? One else has never won a team again before. Hello, comrade Joe. Adel's trying to defend this, I just I'm getting the other one to come base. So I know it doesn't have dodge, but it does have agility four, so I'm not sure how useful this all is. No, I yeah. Think play Once tagging it, then there's no need to tag anyone else. Yeah, you using the after using the reroll then. It's a bit weird because This is a handoff to the Pomber and a yeah. score. Yep. I yeah, mean, three, three dice something. Uh, beast comes. Beast and the warrior come down. Tag him. Try. Oh, beast is stupid. Though. I'd rather hand it off to this guy. I'm surprised he didn't go for the handoff on this guy instead of the Clopom. Clopom's already got. I can't. He's not going to get the legend during the during the tournament, is he? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas this guy's on nine, so you'd get him an MVP away from leveling. No damn. Sometimes you need to trust your best players. You know they have uh, more experience. <laughs> That's a clear uh, player, uh, the level 2 player will have failed. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dadle. I see what Dadle's saying. Okay. He wanted to go for the 1D blitz, but he used the reroll, so he backed off of it. And the one that based on the back should have been um, one square further up, further closer to his side, which would have yes. made the um, path less clear. Which I think that's correct. Yes, yes, that should have been yeah. like that, even if you're going for the 1D. Uh... Yeah. I might have wanted to try and go. I guess the movement made it, didn't make it possible. I might have tried to go for the initial base for the sidestep, anyways, and to, as opposed to the um, blitz, blitz with the, um, the and do the blitz with the movement because that way you can, if, even if you spend the rerolls, block facing with the sidestep is more valuable because you get more of it. So you can don't you don't need you can go for the blitz anyway because if you fail, you have the sidestepper on it as opposed to just having an on sidestep guy. Yeah, I'll be honest. I, I wasn't paying any attention whatsoever during that turn, so uh, it's fine. You're still dodge. Yeah, there is not a case to be made here to put the tentacles on the sidelines. The same for the sidelines as well. Yeah. Either the stand firm or the oh, or quick snap. Oh, what a look at dog! What a look at dog! The quick snap. Yep, stand firm or on the sidelines would be pretty good right now. Yeah, but I mean, he doesn't have to stand anyone on the sidelines, though, right? So, mm -hmm. like, 
you've got to put them on the LOS because they've got to put three people on the LOS, so that means you get to stick the LOS. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, change the warriors at the sides, you know, the leader and the something for the beast and the strength five uh, warrior. But then he dodges all three of the LOS away. That's the yeah. thing, right? So by having two on here, he can only dodge one LOS away. Uh, yeah. But then he got super lucky and got the got the quick snap, so he didn't have to. He got the quick snap and the ball more. scattered to Veli's side, so now he gets the ball safely back. This is yeah. pretty... Uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of... Uh... GFI I know it's almost the... certain to go to OT. Yeah, but... that's a bit much, but it would it would have it would have been worse, obviously. <laughs> yeah. And and now you can you can move these guys out right this turn. Like the beast could go up and okay, he hasn't, but the beast could have gone and, and taken the sideline this turn, and then and then that the guy can take that sideline. So like like he still had stand firm as a light. At the end of the day, you don't need to worry about them breaking through. You need to bro worry about them going back. I, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I was thinking in case, you know, Dadel is still deciding to do the duck, I see the chance on one of the sides. Says, you know what, I'm going in even a uh, red dice, I push us enough, and then I can just uh, move the ball up the pitch. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there is the argument of if you're in, a, if you just get the ball up the field, that's still better than if it's a bit of dice, just because at that point, the Nurgle have to do so much to get the ball yep. upfield. Even if it fails back there, so. But the better um, argument is, daka daka daka. Obviously. <laughs> daka 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 forever. <laughs> I feel like there's been so many daka parodies. I feel like the Neutron Dance would also be a good one, possibly. I've got no idea what that is. <laughs> it's fine. Everybody doing the Neutron Dance, everybody doing the daka somehow. Something's in there. There has well, been a lot of parodies. Now this is uh, easy for uh, Daniel. Yeah, just go there. Yeah, there is. You did not cover the breadth of the pitch. Which, you know, like the stand firm could have been covering the sideline. And this guy. Very, could have that's been a good base. Good base of the tentacles there, because the tentacles could, would have been. If you don't base the tentacles, the tentacles woods is so obvious and it has to be done. Balls are sweating here. Thanks. Thanks for the details, Daryl. <laughs> I think Veli should probably go for the dodge on the tentacles, too. I think you kind of have to. It's a 4 plus, so I think you have to do it. Yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah, it's too good. Oh, no. Ooh, now you can't, because now he's in the square. Needed him to be. Yeah, he could have been, been one in front. But then, you know, it might fail, so no, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, it might fail. Maybe not. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm just going to put more risk on if I don't see a way for the team to lose without taking... Wait for them to win without taking more risk on. Yeah, I, th I think it was right to, to make the dodge. As, the thing he's is, he's only got threat. one re-roll, right? If he had, like, three re-rolls, he probably does make that dodge, to be fair. Okay. So he's, There's... He's, all right. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, he's still got to win, right? Like, so... Yeah. So you using your last re-roll to do, you know, something... Then how do you win on the last turn without anything? So at least this way he might still fail, and then you've got a reroll to make to actually win. Like it's yeah. There goes the leader of the team. Does he want to win the pitch in case the team uh, loses? Is doing a Cristiano. <laughs> Uphill. Hunting's yeah. kind of actually hard in circle. Instant uphill, love to see it. Chunter, very excited. Yep, like that. Ooh. Very good. Yep. And now, see you later. Ooh. For God's sake, what a time to roll a snake. <laughs> no, no, just a one no, in no, it. He's okay, got he's tackle. Tackle. He's Oh, there you go, there you go. And then throw the ball away. Ooh. Yes, pan the ball away. Nah, I don't know. Oh, we, we have sure feed. Okay, we have sure feed. Yeah, you can just get away from everyone. Alright, sure feed, yes. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I was, when I first saw those GFIs, I was a bit spooked <laughs> too. Like, oh no, you have sure feed, it's fine. <laughs> We're doing this one at a time, that's good play by Dale. Tentacles doing nothing, fantastic. <laughs> Tentacles finally not doing anything, it's been great the entire game before. But... Yeah, much of the game. The, the, it, the strength too run away instantly, but yeah, after that it was pretty good. And that's it.
Anyway, it was a good game. Maybe Beli Hopea could have taken more advantage from the his tentacle players. I think Beli played pretty well. He just gave up a wizard, and at that point, he was behind the eight ball for the rest of the game. The first turns of his offense weren't great, and it's just really, really hard if you give up a score. What else pounds on every mistake you make? Yeah. And you get removals at opportune times. He got some big ones. Dadel seems pretty crippled going into the next round. <laughs> Yes, yeah, oh, he may yeah. have he may have won the battle but lost the war. But uh... yeah, he's guaranteed is uh, having guaranteed the uh, uh, the wizard for the next game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> certainly <laughs> guaranteed the wizard for the next game. Yeah. Yeah. Because that that dancer must be like uh, two hundred something uh, <laughs> a team value. Yeah. Right, yeah, so there like you that. go. Um, commiserations, fellow hobby. Congratulations, Dadle. Well done on, on winning in playoffs. And uh, thank you very much, Fimir and Squirrel. Absolutely glorious. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.